Hello students, welcome back. Let us take a look at the last question of exercise 10.6. Uh, that's question number 10 uh, of chapter 10, circles. So here you have a circle with center O and you have triangle ABC such that AD is the angle bisector of angle BAC of your triangle ABC and OD is the perpendicular bisector of BC. And I'm saying that let's let OD and BC intersect at point E. Now I need to prove that, see, it's been given that A, B and C, they lie on the circumference of the circle. I need to prove that D lies on the circumference of the circle. So what, is, uh, what are they trying to tell you is that the angle bisector AD of angle A and perpendicular bisector OD of uh, your chord BC of triangle ABC uh, is also a side of triangle ABC. They both meet at point D. You need to prove that point D lies on the circumference of the circle. So how will you prove this? First, I can't really see any connection. The trick here is to join BO to OC. So now if you notice, I have the chord BC subtending angle BOC at the center and angle BAC at the circumference. Right? Now this is the minor arc, right? Therefore, angle BOC is twice angle BAC. Let's write this down. So I'll say proof. Join OB and OC. So I'll say therefore angle BOC is equal to twice angle BAC angle subtended by chord BC at the center and circumference. I'll mark this statement as 1 that BOC is twice of BAC. Now if you notice these two tiny little triangles BOE and COE, you can see that they are uh, equal to each other, they are congruent to each other by the side 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 test of congruence. Why? You have OB is equal to OC because they are the radii of the circle. See, OD is the perpendicular bisector, so BE is equal to EC, right? Because E becomes the midpoint and you have this common side OE. Therefore, the two triangles are congruent to each other by the side 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 test of congruence. Therefore, I have angle BOE is equal to angle COE, right? But angle BOC is made up of angle BOE plus angle BOE. So let's write this down for now. So in triangle BOE and triangle COE, I have OB is equal to OC radii then I have OE is equal to OE common side and I have BE is equal to CE since OED is perpendicular bisector of BC right Therefore, triangle BOE is congruent to triangle COE by side 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 or SSS test of congruence. Therefore, angle BOE is equal to angle COE by corresponding pair of congruent triangles. Let us mark this as 2. But angle BAC is equal to angle BOE plus angle COE, right? Because they are an adjacent pair. I'll mark this as 3. So from 2 and 3, what do you get? That BAC is twice of angle BOE. Therefore, angle BAC, so instead of BOE, I'm just going to, just one moment, instead of COE, I'm going to write BOE. So this is going to be BOE plus angle BOE from 2 and 3. So BOE plus BOE is twice BOE.
instead of BOE, if you can see, I can write BOD because E lies on the line segment OD. So therefore, angle BAE is equal to twice angle BOD. Since E dash O dash O dash E dash D. Let's mark this as 4. Ek second, ek second, ek second, ek second. B, B, A, E. Third wala, ha, ha, ha. B, O, C hai wo. But you have BOE is equal to COE. If you take a look at BOE and COE, they are making up the angle the big angle BOC. So I'll say but angle BOC is equal to angle BOE plus angle COE. Right? I'll mark this as 3. Hmm? But if you add these two angles, BOE and COE, so when you add BOE and COE, what are you getting? You're getting an entire angle BOC. So, but angle BOE plus angle COE is equal to angle BOC, right? Let's mark this as 3. So, instead of COE over here, I will just write BOE. Therefore, angle BOE plus angle BOE is equal to angle BOC. Therefore, twice of angle BOE is equal to angle BOC. Now, BOE can be written as BOD because if you notice that E lies on the line segment OD. Therefore, I will say that twice angle BOD is equal to angle BOC because I have O, E and D. Let's mark this as 4. So now if you notice this statement 1 and statement number 2, you have BOC and POC common. Just making it a little clear. So these two are common, therefore what do you get from 1 and 2? When equals are equal to the same thing, they are equal to each other. Therefore twice angle BAC is twice angle is equal to twice angle BOD. So I'll say therefore twice angle BAC is equal to twice angle BOD. I'll say from 1 and 4. So when you remove 2, right, dividing the same number from both uh, from equals you're going to get equal as the remainder so i'll get therefore bac is equal to angle bod let's ma mark this as five so now i have bac is equal to bod which is my bac my bac is here and bod is here so what is the half of bac the half of bac is bad because ad is the bisector of angle BAC. So I'll say, th but angle BAD is equal to half angle BAC, right? Since AD bisects angle A. Let's mark this as 6. So BAD is also equal to half angle BOD, right? From 5 and 6. Therefore, angle BAD is equal to half angle BOD. I'll say from 5 and 6. So now take a look at BAD and BOD. You have BAD and BOD. And what is the relationship that twice angle BAD 
is equal to angle DOD. So let's try and draw this. I have the line segment BD. Then I have the point A over here. I have the center O over here. Right? B A twice B A D is equal to B O D. That means this point, this is possible only when D lies on the circumference of the circle. Because what have we learned? If an angle subtends, uh, if a quad uh, subtends an angle at the center and the circumference of the circle, then the angle subtended at the center is twice the angle subtended at the circumference. Angle subtended at the center is twice the angle subtended at the circumference. This is possible only if D lies on the circumference. Right? So let's write this down. But this is possible only if point D lies on the circumference of the circle. And in brackets, you can just write for your own understanding. This is not for the teacher's understanding, but your own understanding during exams if you forget how we are saying that point D lies on the circle. So, you can just say that chord subtends, chord subtending angle at the center and circumference. And you can just say theorem 10.8. So this is for your own reference, right? Therefore, point D lies on the circumference of the circle. So this was about the solution. Please take a look. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.